Hi guys, Eric Pathy. Welcome to PickDogs.com for your Monday evening report for Tuesday. If you're looking to pick up the Dime Club and you want to handle the low volume service that we offer, one to two games a night maximum, because you're working with a 10 dime bankroll or less, I recommend picking up, as always, the Dime Club. 500 for a week, a dime for a month, and three dimes for six months. Taking your weekly expense from 500 to half of that, 250 to a quarter of that, 125 if you're smaller or better and you're trying to build your bankroll. Now, this will be a short and sweet video tonight. It is, is past my bedtime. If you're a high-volume better and you can handle the likes of Big Al McMorty's All Access or our NBA systems and you can handle that, you want to have a 20-dime bankroll or more. I always tell people it's not about better picks with the different systems that we offer at the Dime Club. It's about low volume versus high volume. Can you handle the high volume? And the answer is you can if you have a larger bankroll because you want to spread your money across all of the different opportunities. Professional bettors don't put all their eggs in one basket. Small bettors do because they don't have a big basket. If you have a larger basket, then again, I recommend picking up all of our opportunities. Ruffalo's bowl package, he hit the Western Kentucky today. Um, big Al had a couple plays today. And again, as we move further on into full college basketball, you're going to see the volume, especially with Big Al and the NBA, increase, increase, increase. For you to be able to handle that, you've got to have the bankroll to support it. Now, regarding complimentary selection for tomorrow, I looked at this Spurs matchup. They've only won four games in a row. The last time they won, they beat the Los Angeles Lakers. Tomorrow, they're heading over to the Milwaukee Bucks. The line opened up at 13.5 and, and is now 16.5. While they haven't gotten the job done in terms of winning games outright, they're not doing bad against the spread. Can you believe it? They've won four games in a row. And their spread record is exactly the same as the Milwaukee Bucks. The Milwaukee Bucks are 12, 13, and 1. The Washington Wizards are 12 and 13. You have to just auto fade this three point pop overnight. Take the Spurs plus the 16 and a half, no matter how ugly it is, as your complimentary selection. Because what Milwaukee has shown over and over and over again is they win games but they don't cover games. So from a value point of view, if you're a value investor, the Spurs is definitely a play. Just like at the time of this recording, the Wizard, Wizards covered again tonight as they lost the game, I believe, by 13, getting 14. So I'm going to roll with the Wizards to get another cover tomorrow, plus the 16 and a half. And again, if you want to reach me directly and you want to talk about treating your wagering as a business, text the number below, 775-636-7676. If you're a smaller player, just text me and say, I want to do a week, I want to do a month, or I want to do three months, excuse me, six months of the Dime Club. The Spurs is your complimentary selection. Good day and good luck.